Hi guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel. I'm home again, but this is my last week at home. This is my last week at home. Come next week, Tuesday, I'm not gonna be home and if I am I'm gonna be upset but there is gonna have to be an explanation but um I'm currently in the kitchen I'm making some stew chicken and I randomly felt like I wanted to make some rice and peas so I have the peas going right now because some <sighs> sometimes the peas is just a little hard and it takes like a while to cook so I've had it, um, I already poured water on it twice. My mom used to call it sinking the peas, which is when you put it in like, a, you put on in like a little bit of water at first, and then you let that boil up and like dry down, and then you do that a couple of times until the peas is soft. Obviously, you're going to have to check it as time progresses, but what I ended up doing was I used some boiling water for my kettle to begin with. So, um, it boiled up quickly. I have my coconut milk in this little container here mixed it with some hot water and I'm literally waiting for the peas to be ready to like get a move on with the rice and peas honestly and the stew chicken is basically done pretty much done I have the timer on the stove on for 20 minutes we have 11 minutes left damn it's a little steamy over here and we have the stew chicken going and the peas going so my battery just died and I had to change it, but I'm basically seeing that I have the stew chicken going. It's on literally the last leg, like it's almost done. And then I have the peas going, which that should be done soon too. It's not stable. Yeah, so that should be done too. And then I'm going to make the rice and peas and that should be good. I'm way, I have so much time because right now it's 7 p.m. and babe does not come home until... 10 p.m. sometimes 11 after searching for a while to find parking where we live as ghetto. It's not the ghetto. The parking situation is ghetto because it like takes a long time for you to like find parking. Especially that time of night. During the day, it's not so bad. But at 9 p.m. at night, it's going to be hard. So, um, yeah. But that's currently what I have going on. I'm watching some YouTube videos. It's so hot. So I have both air conditioners going because like it's hot it's very it's extremely hot i'll tell you that but um yeah that's all that really is all i spend the morning um jading my computer um uh, because it's one thing about these these apple devices they're gonna let you know when they need to be updated so i was updating my macbook i've dated my phone a couple of days ago i'm pretty sure that my watch needs to be updated but i'm not using it right now so I should probably update it before Tuesday. I'm scrolling through the settings on my watch to... So I can update the software. Because I know that it needs to be updated. Once one device needs to be updated, they all kind of do. So we're going to see. Because I don't want to wait until Tuesday morning. Until Monday morning. Why well, I keep saying Tuesday? Until, well, maybe Tuesday. But I definitely have to go there Monday. I don't want to wait until then for it to... Um, Wow, it says that it's up to date. Maybe it updated on its own. I don't really know, but once it's up to date, that's good. But, um, yeah. I have the air on 72. Maybe I should turn it down. It's like when I'm in too much light, it's overexposed, so, like, it doesn't focus as good. But if I had to choose between the two air conditioners, I would choose the one inside of the bedroom, inside of our bedroom, because it has, like, a timer on there. I bought it on Amazon. But it has a timer on there where you can like turn the air on and keep it on for like a certain amount of time. So a lot of times at night when we're going to bed, I'll turn it on for like a few hours and then turn it off. Because, you know, obviously the room would be cool. At, like set the timer so it would go off on its own. But the one inside of the living room does not have a timer. Even though it's the same thing, just a smaller voltage, whatever. I don't really know. A bird almost got in here through the kitchen window. Dang. How would I have gotten rid of him? I don't really like opening the windows because I do not like the gnats and I definitely do not like the flies. But when I'm cooking, the way how the apartment is set up, you need the windows open. Especially now because it's like so hot. It's kind of blowing out the stove. 
Maybe I'll turn, maybe I'll um, close the window. But yeah, that's that's all I have going. I'm cleaning. Last night I bought Spray 9. Uh, not last night, a couple of days ago. I bought this on Amazon because I wanted to take the residual grease off of the backsplash behind the stove and off of the top of like the microwave where that vent thing is. And this, I'll tell you, is pretty good because I tried some other cleaning products and it did not come off. But of course, thanks to handy dandy TikTok is where I learned that this would have been great for taking that off. So love that for me. And I bought a few other things. I think something was delivered downstairs. But to be completely honest, like it's too hot and I really do not feel like going downstairs to go do that. So I'm not gonna. So when babe comes later on, he's gonna bring it up because it's gonna be right there for him to see. So there's that. But I'm hot, chilling and cooking. Not really chilling, mostly cooking. But um, yeah, I had decided last week too that I was going to use one of the days and like meal prep or whatever. I think I'm going to do that closer to the end of the week just in case Monday when I go in to get my second varicella shot. Um, just in case I'm going to start working that Monday or the following Tuesday, then um, we have food. So I think I'm going to do that probably maybe Sunday because babe's going to be home on Sunday so um, he could help me. But yeah, that should be good. But that's all that's going on for right now. And I'm going to close this window a little bit because it's blowing out the stove. So guys, this is dinner. It's two chicken with Irish potato and rice and peas. And I made the potatoes big because we quite love the potatoes when they're this big. I find that we enjoy them more. Two pieces of chicken because it's already late. So yeah, that's dinner. Hi guys, so it is the end of the day. It's 9.30 p.m. Baby should be leaving work in a few minutes. I got done cooking cleaned up the kitchen because I really like for there to be a clean kitchen when I'm done cooking I specifically cook as I go along and so I was already washing everything up um, as I go along right now the only thing that's left outside is literally the two pots that um, I made the food in so one pot for the rice and peas and then the other pot for the stew chicken so babe comes and he shares his dinner He's going to just put them into Tupperware. And so I left the Tupperware on top of the kitchen counter so that he knows to put the food in Tupperware. Because that man will literally put the pots inside of the fridge. And when he puts the pots inside there, he turns the cover upside down. Well, let's, let's not. <laughs> let's not. He turns the cover upside down. I don't know why he does that. But, um, Yeah. So, um, I'm just sitting down in the living room. I already showered. When the rice was on, like, the last 10-15 minutes, I hopped in the shower and, you know, showered so that by the time I was ready to eat, I was nice and clean. Not only that, I like, um, if I cook, I like to shower after I've cooked because I do not want to smell like food afterwards. It's like in the winter time where the closet smell like what am I saying? Where the clothes smell like food? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That will drive me absolutely crazy. So even in the winter time when I'm cooking, because my, my stove has that the vent on the microwave above it, but the microwave, the, the hose that they're supposed to connect to the top of the microwave to like lead outside to bring out the air, it's not there. And so I just open the kitchen window when I'm cooking because I refuse to leave the apartment and the clothes smells like food. I don't like that. Anyways, I'm just chilling for the rest of the night. This was just a day in my life vlog, literally all day at home and what I've been doing at home. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video as usual.